Hello, Bloid fans. We have something super duper special for you today. My friend Josh is here to tell me things that you need to know. Hello, because everyone. I don't know a lot of terminology for Vocaloid. I just listen to it. So, my ultra otaku nerd of Vocaloid, this friend, What's tell up, me people? what uh, are we opening today? Well, this is very special. Today, this is a limited edition, both concerts, March 8th and March 9th, Hatsune Miku Thanksgiving Day. Limited edition box set, Blu-rays. This thing just came out yesterday, and I'm not even kidding you, it got sold out. So if you didn't get this, well, you should just leave society right now. Or find somewhere other than Amazon. But, um, good luck. We have the Blu-ray version, which is region-free. Um, if you get the DVD, that's only region 2 for Japan. Oh, oh! We're almost there. Are you ready to jizz your pants? I'm trying to hold back, trying to hold back. <laughs> Come on already! Oh yeah! Awesome! Okay. And then now. Still in, in frame? We're still in frame. The big moment. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at this. So beautiful. Right there on the front is the band the 39s or Sunk Sasu with the 39 strings and new edition, the horns. Yeah, they add brass now into Vocaloid songs. Fre I didn't know. Freaking epic. Now let's flip that around. Oh, that's sexy. Yep. Also considered the 39s, but kind of the lesser ones. They're still awesome anyways. Part of the Mikupa shows. Yes, there are two 39 bands, but each one is different. The main one that everybody knows, along with Orita Shin, Abe Jun, Kuroda Aketoshi, and Tanaka Shingo. I love how I realize it. It comes with this sticker. Just so you know it's legitimate. Oh yeah, Japanese, baby. Good luck reading. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like from the front. And this is what it looks like from the back. Sunk Sasu. Uh, the top is just black. The bottom has um, barcode and information. All the good specs that the Blu-ray is to come and the music CDs. And then this is a slip cover um, so it sits up sideways uh, and it has the same image underneath so we open it up and here we have the four concert CDs right mm -hmm. all four of these discs are the live CDs the MI represent the Mikupa of March 8th and then the K and U represent the Thanksgiving Day concert of March 9th. And my god, the music is epic. Comes with a little white paper. I'm gonna most likely guess for protection for all the little goodies that are inside of the special edition box. Comes with a, this is really flimsy by the way. And it's really glossy. Most likely it talks about the specs of the DVDs and Blu-rays. Okay, in this flap we have Miku. Who's the, art the artist for this? The artist for, the, for these pictures for both March 8th and March 9th is K. Okay, so inside we have more blank paper for protection. protection. Give us that protection. You know, protection for our packages. Um, we have this really big insert. Um, and it's also really flimsy. It's on uh, glossy paper. And there's the other side. And it opens up like a newspaper. Um, so it's got big. all the. <laughs> yeah, it is really big. Um, it's got all that. And there's the other side. It and it opens up again. And oh my god, it turns green. Miku! I don't even have enough room on the camera for this. But yeah, it's got a lot of information and little images and stuff. It's got the set list of both days of the concerts and plus also with each of the songs that are on there it's got the lyrics. So yeah here's a it's kind of hard because the lady but yeah there's a uh, make you again and then again that side. Cute. Here is where we have the treasures. <laughs> yeah the the blu-rays. This one is the Mikupa of March 8th, this and then is. the Thanksgiving Day concert of March 9th. And then it comes with a special disc. Yes. Uh, the special disc contains most likely like behind the scenes footage, 
probably a, sum a summary of like all the concerts that led up to the very big blowout concerts of the Tokyo Dome City Hall. I have yet to see what it looks like, but something tells me it's going to be really awesome to see all the little goodies and the behind the scenes of Miku and how the concerts work. So that is pretty awesome. Anyways, the first CD is the M for the March 8th concert, and that contains 21 songs before it gets cut off into part two. Yes, there are that many songs that you have to split into two parts. How many songs are there? In total, there are, for the, for the two sets of the March 8th concerts, there's a total of 35 songs. So a two hour concert, I don't mind watching it for that long. It's freaking Miku and Vocaloid Street. So okay, sorry. for the Thanksgiving Day concert, this has how many songs? A total of 32 songs. So, for both concerts together, that's a total of 67 songs. It's about four hours of music of nothing but good old Vocaloid awesomeness. Fun fact, both the March 8th and the March 9th concerts actually debuted Kaito and Mako for the very first time ever mm -hmm. in a Vocaloid concert. I love to Kaito. Ah, another fan girl. Okay, so it's the biggest fanboy I know. Alright, so now we have the Blu-rays. Alright, this right here is the first of the Blu-rays of one of the concerts. This is the March 8th Mikupa live concert in the Tokyo Dome City Hall. It's a pretty cool title screen. You know, it's got the all play, track list, it's got the setup, and in our setup we got 2.0 channel PCM sound, and then of course the HD Master Audio 5.1 channel. We've got subs. Most likely I'm going to guess one's Japanese and the other is Chinese. And then let's go back to the menu. And then you already know the all play plays the entire concert. And then you got your track list right here which pretty much shows out every single song that's in the concert. And fun little fact that with a couple of these songs like track number 14, 17, which is the Luka Luka Night Fever and the intense singing of Hatsune Miku and then if I'm correct there might be one more yep it's a uh, Snow White Princess uh, they all have an alternate camera shot I was expecting like you know you can access like different camera shots during the show but I guess it's whatever they choose to really ma have the main focus on 34 songs belong there four encores it's a holy crap at least an hour worth of music and that's the menus right there. It's really nice. Nothing like too flashy, but it's still a cool looking menu. There is a bonus material disc, which I will not be covering. To be honest, the truth, like, it's nothing too fancy. It has an entire hour of, like, how they did the concerts, how they set up, like, her animation, her, her show, her stage setup, and then plus you get to hear a little bit of the interviews from a couple of the Vocaloid producers. And, and then a couple of small little bits like the intros to the concerts like with the actual voice actresses and then it has the two little commercials that tells you you know when the concert's going to be released on blu-ray and dvd and such so yeah whenever you get the chance get these concerts if you're a true diehard vocaloid fan these are worth it this right here is the Hatsune Miku March 9th Thanksgiving Day concert on blu-ray the menu gives you a nice couple animations of a couple songs that you would expect and it plays you a nice little overture you know, just so you can hear like that little build up so you can all get ready to watch some awesomeness it's got three things on the menu thank god it's in english <laughs> you got all play which will go through the entire concert in one go you got the track list you got the setup just to get through the boring stuff you got 2.0 channel pcm so a standard sound or 5.1 hd audio master sound over here you got subtitles. One set is for the regular lyrics to the song. Fun little fact about this concert and the other one 
A couple of the songs on here, this is the set list by the way, this is about three pages. A couple of the songs have these little camera symbols, which means you can actually get like a second style of viewing the concert. Like for Tell Your World, you'll get the camera angle focused mostly on the crowd while watching the show, or focus on the stage but not on Nuki and Tai. While number three for Yume Yume, that track is like focused entirely on Nuki. Just focusing on the MMB movements and the animation. No focus on the band, not on the crowd, nothing else but Miku. And then my favorite one was number 13, which was Moon, which showed off the camera angle, but like, focusing on the band. It showed Miku for a little bit from time to time, but then it focused like on the band. So it comes with about, about an hour 59 of music, total of. 31 songs. So yeah, when you get the chance, just go online on Amazon Japan or AmiAmi. You can go on Japan CD or Play Asia. I'll tell you now, both sites will be expensive, so the best option to try to go for until September 3rd is to go for Amazon Japan. $23 international shipping, but hey, it's the cheapest I actually got it. So there you go, there you have it. Thanksgiving Day concert menu.